Video games part two with the construction stuff and some action figures starting with Hello Neighbor. Yep, so Hello Neighbor is one of the newer licenses that we got for this year. Uh, we're going to have a dual license of MCS, which is the McFarlane construction sets, and uh, the action figures. The action figures will be a little bit different than our 7 inch line because they will be going to 5 inch uh, action figures, dropping down to a $13.99 price point. They're going to have, um, you know, again, 13 to 15 points of articulation. Uh, they're all in the we're going to have three variations of the neighbor. As you can see right now, there's the neighbor in his butcher outfit and the neighbor with his evil smile coming with various traps and accessories that are in the game. And on the other side there, we're going to have the neighbor in his standard, you know, outfit. And we're also going to have the kid who is the playable first person view character you play mm -hmm. as in the game. Right. Cool. Let's see the other guys. Game accurate accessories, the kid with his binoculars, the neighbor with his shovel, and each figure will come with a key as well, too. Like a little uh, piece of uh, every figure will come with. Nice. Since we're on this side, I'll show yeah, you that. So box now side. moving on to the construction set, and what's cool, the big construction set we're going to have for the Hello Neighbor is going to be the neighbor's house, and it's going to be a dual build in one. So as you can oh, see cool. right here, the outside is going to be the facade of the outside of the neighbor's house. It's going to have his bear trap at the front door there, and you have the kid outside if you'd like, and then circle around the inside of the build will be the inside of the house so you can see we'll have the neighbor's kitchen there he's going to have his refrigerator his faucet stove all the little knickknacks and accessories that you see in the game so it's a cool little dual build that you'll get with the labor's house for the large set one of the small the small sets we're going to have based off the game is going to be the basement door which is the end all be all of the game you spend your time trying to get to that basement door it's going to have oblong little frames it's going to have some little unique pieces that we're going to have. We try to make it as accurate to the game as possible. It'll come with the butcher neighbor with his little cleaver. And then we're also going to have the living room. The living room is my personal set because that's Chinese takeout boxes all over the floor. <laughs> uh, you're also going to have your standard neighbor as well with the gloves there. And then you're going to have the accessories like the boxes and the broom and the little golden apple back there as well too. So everything you see is taken directly from the game, in-game scans from uh, you know the assets they gave us. Uh, making sure every detail it did not get missed. Is this game as strange as it looks? The game is very strange. Stranger? Yeah, it's stranger, yes. Oh, okay, I figured. It's, it's entertaining, it's fun. It's just, uh, it's it, it takes a while because I was, we first started playing around the office to get, you know, ideas how yeah, we yeah. about doing it. We were just looking at each other like, what is this game? And we just <laughs> what are we doing? Playing and playing and what are playing. we doing? It was so addicting, too. So funny. Some of these new indie games are fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Packaging. So now moving on to Five Nights at Freddy's. So Five Nights at Freddy's has been a very popular line for us for the past couple of years and going on in 2018 we're going to have a new slew of micro sets, uh, a couple of small sets and a large set. So with the micro sets we're going to have the grandfather clock, it's going to feature Nightmare Bonnie. Uh, it's going to be a little micro set, 30 pieces or so at the night with the grandfather clock, the figure coming out there as well. We're also going to have Withered Freddy and the party wall. Uh, it's going to be another wall based off the restaurant and have a Withered Freddy, Freddy fig figure in there as well. It's a tongue twister, very tough to do. <laughs> um, and then if you strap around to the other side, on the micro sets for 2018, it's going to feature the office hallway with Phantom Balloon Boy. It's also going to have like a little dummy Freddy uh, bust available on it as well. And beneath that, we're going to have a medium set of the scooping room based off Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Now, the scooping room is going to be kind of cool because it actually has some play action. The set on the back of it will have a little push lever that allows these scoops to actually move forward um, and have a little play action with it as well. All the pieces that you see for the scooping room are based off the game and you can actually, they will come with the set. The are going to have an entered figure as well as a buildable character that comes with the set too. So we moved on from... Uh Chuck E. Cheese being a nightmare to Build a Bear being a nightmare. Pretty much. Yeah. It's scooping. It's, yeah, it's like scooping both. makes me immediately think of Build a Bear. Yeah, I don't know it's why. Like two birds, one stone with five <laughs> nights. See, they, there's right? no limits to their creepiness. Yeah, it's like um, let's just torment old children. Everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> so then we're also going to have our Paper Pals Party small set, and we're, it's going to feature you know Bonnie faceless. Uh, it's going to have the Paper Pals from the game as well, another Freddy Fazbear restaurant theme set. <laughs> Then our small set of the left dresser and door is actually really cool because if you've been play, uh, you know, getting our Five Nights at Freddy's figures for the past couple years, uh, this set will complete the bedroom. We had the right dresser and door, we had the bed. Uh, this one will complete the bedroom and you can actually have a little diorama set when you have all, all of the seat pieces connected. And then finally is going to be our control module large set. We're excited about it because it's going to have three figures in it. It's going to have the jump scare fun time Foxy. It's going to have Valora. And then in the middle there you're going to have a little tchotchke of Bitty Bab. Uh, based off the control module set uh, setting from the game. 
again, the likeness and detail, we have a lot of little tchotchke pieces uh, on the office desk there. And the fan in the back is actually working, it will have you a working propeller. You can actually spin that around too as well. Nice. Very cool. Okay, torment your children. Coming soon. <laughs>